Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So today's video is about a vent head where we rectified a defect where the vent head was lower than the save all and the function. I'm going to explain to you the function of the vent head, the float inside the vent head, and at the end, a basic function on how the vent heads work. Okay, Jason, uh, do you know why we are doing this? Uh, this band should be higher than the save oil. Yeah, yeah. Because if, let's say this one is full of water, water can possibility go in. Yes, That's in it. the tank. Okay, so this is one defect what was there from the shipyard, that this is a vent head. Let's take a look back again. That's a vent head of a fuel tank. This is called as a save oil. So in case you have an overflow, the first oil will always fall into this. It is always plugged. It has its capacity marked here. So theoretically, all the oil will be contained here. At least this much amount of this one. For this, for the moment, this is 289 liters. So this should contain 289 liters. Or just for an instantaneous overflow, this will tackle the. This is the first line of defense. But there was a defect here. This vent head was actually lower. So that means the overflow was lower than the border of the save all. This is a very big problem in case water fills up into this and stays full, water could go and block the vent head. So we've got this spacer, we've installed the spacer and that's how we are getting rid of this defect. So let's read the regulations by the OCIMF for spill containments fitted around fuel and diesel tanks. That's basically the save all and the vent head requirement. And after this, let's go into a basic sketch and some very simple explanation of a vent head. So this is the vent head that's supposed to be on a tank. Inside this, there will be a float. So the vapors of the tank will come off. The tank can breathe easily. Okay, and they come off from the sides. They are not coming out through the center, they are coming out through the sides and they assume they will pass out and go out through here. As you see my video, in the video you can see it will go out through here. So this is your float. In case, the function of the float, in case if water fills up around the vent head or there is a huge splash of a wave onto this, now this float will float in the liquid that is seawater or water that is here and will come right up here. So this will block your vent head and water will not go into the tank. This is the function of the vent head. And in case you have an overflow, yes, oil or water can come out from the sides from that tank and come out. And at that point, there's no water here. So the float will not be here. The float will be down and you'll have your oil or water overflowing from this and since this is an oil tank it is very important that on this front we will have a screen like this it's basically a fine mesh something like this which will be called as a flame screen this will be on this section here in front of the flame screen there will be another small diverter or a flap basically when the oil comes out it should not go straight out and fly onto somebody's face or something. It must be directed downward. So because of the flap that's mounted after the screen, it will pass through and it will go down. The function of the flames, flame screen is that any sparks from outside should not penetrate the tank inside because it could be an oil tank, it could be a diesel tank, it could be a fuel tank. So that could lead to an explosion inside the tank. So few, few main components, the diverter one, the flame screen two, the float three, this is the float seating face and the main thing is the whole thing together is called as a vent head. Well, that's it for Do now. Like, share and subscribe. Take care. Good night.